Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Halloween time. Halloween is here. So in order to celebrate Halloween, I wanted to talk about and review one of my all-time favorite horror movies and one of the most influential films ever made, and that would be Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Now, if you've never seen Psycho, I just want to start off by saying this is going to be spoilers. There's going to be spoilers in this review. If you've never seen Psycho, well, first of all, shame on you. It's almost 60 years old. It's an absolute masterpiece and classic. So if you have not seen Psycho, do yourself a favor. Click off this video, go see Psycho right now, and then come back to this video and watch this review. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Now, doing a movie review like this, to me, is actually kind of intimidating. Because, like, I'm reviewing an Alfred Hitchcock movie. I mean, the man is a legend. He is arguably the best director to ever live. He completely changed film forever. And I think the only way to start with something like this is to go back to the very beginning. So this movie came out in 1960. And when this came out, this was absolutely one of the most shocking films to have ever come out. So because this movie was so controversial and shocking, Paramount actually gave Alfred Hitchcock 60% of all box office earnings. Which is absolutely crazy. Nowadays, that would never happen. Little did everyone know, that would later go on and make Hitchcock millions of dollars. So, I want to talk about the trailer to this movie. Because the trailer is absolutely amazing. It is probably one of the best trailers ever, of all time. It is over 6 minutes long. Yes, the trailer is over 6 minutes long. And, it doesn't show absolutely any footage from the entire movie whatsoever. Yes, the trailer is over 6 minutes long, and it does not show a single clip from the movie. So, you may be wondering to yourself, well, if it doesn't show a single clip from the entire movie, then what is the trailer? Well, the entire trailer is Alfred Hitchcock just walking around the set and talking about the movie. It is something that I absolutely love, because it gets people excited for the movie, but spoils absolutely nothing you literally do not see a single thing from the movie but yet it gets people excited because this is alfred hitchcock talking about this masterpiece that he is crafting and it's just an incredible trailer well i suppose you'd call this his hideaway his hobby as you see was taxidermy crow here an owl there an important scene took place in this room. There was a private supper here. So Hitchcock wanted to keep this movie a secret, especially the twist ending at the end of the movie. He didn't want anyone to know anything. He wanted the fans to experience it for themselves. And because of that, Hitchcock actually had a set of rules for this movie. And one of those rules was if you arrived late to the movie theater, Hitchcock asked that the movie theater would not let you win. You could not go see this movie if you were late. He wanted everyone to experience it from beginning to end, which I absolutely love. That is a fantastic rule. So this movie stars Janet Lee and Anthony Perkins, and if you don't know what this movie is about, well this movie is about Janet Lee's character who embezzles $40,000 and is on the run, and she stays at the Bates Motel, which is run by Norman Bates, played by Anthony Perkins. One thing I love about this movie is it still holds up. I mean, I just watched this about an hour ago, and man, like, I was still kind of scared. Like, it's just got that unnerving feeling, and it's just so suspenseful too. And it, the fact that this movie is 60 years old and it still holds up is just absolutely mind blowing. Something that Alfred Hitchcock does in this movie is he makes you feel for Norman Bates. And when I was watching again, I actually felt for the character, you know, I felt sympathy for him, and I felt sad for him because like he's just trying to run this motel, and he's got this terrible mother apparently who's just so demanding and ruining everything. Oh, and she also kills all the guests, and Norm Bates is left to clean up after it. <laughs> and one of the reasons why this movie is so controversial is because halfway through the movie, Janet Lee's character dies. She gets brutally stabbed to death halfway in the movie, and back then, something like that didn't really happen. I mean, the main character in the movie normally stays alive. 
for the entire movie. But no, in this, she gets killed halfway through in the shower scene, which, if you don't know what the shower scene is, let's talk about it. The shower scene is one of the most influential scenes of all time. This one scene alone has a complete documentary made about it, and the scene is only 48 seconds long, and it is just masterfully made. And something about this scene is, I'm not sure the exact number, but I think there's something like 72 camera setups and 58 cuts just in this like 40 second scene alone. And something like that just hasn't happened before, and it was absolutely mind blowing back then. A fun fact from the shower scene that a lot of people don't know, but to save money, the blood in that scene is actually not fake blood. It is actually chocolate syrup. Yes, all that blood that you saw in that scene is chocolate syrup. So that is just a fun fact that not a bunch of people know. Now, I'm a big believer in that a score can make or break a film. Not that the score makes or breaks this film, but it definitely helps. The score to this movie is just absolutely incredible. It is easily one of the most influential scores in the horror genre and has inspired a ton of people. Now let's talk about the twist ending to this movie. Pretty much Norman Bates has a split personality. His mother is dead. She's gone. He is his mother. He's got two personalities as Norman Bates and his mom. So he, so he has been killing all the people all this time. But... He himself doesn't think he's been killing them because it's been his mom, but he is mom. Yeah, that's a twist ending. And we get one of the most famous scenes during this twist ending. Now, when I first saw this twist, I'll be honest, I was scared to death. When that mom turned around and it was just a skeleton, it just absolutely scared me. And that is one thing that Alfred Hitchcock does right. This movie still holds up and it is still scary to this day. But then shortly after that scene, we get my only complaint with this movie. But it's not going to downgrade the movie at all. Pretty much a doctor explains the twist and he explains everything. And, uh, I get why it was in the movie because, again, this did come out 60 years ago, so it was a different time back then. And like I said, this was one of the most controversial films ever made, so Alfred Hitchcock did have to probably put that in there. Just kind of explain and not make it, like, as controversial or whatever. However, Psycho is one of the most influential horror films ever made. It's one of my favorites ever made. Alfred Hitchcock is one of the best directors to ever live, if not the best. Um, he crafted an absolute masterpiece. I'm going to give Psycho an A+. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, hit that like button. And if you want to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button. Happy Halloween. Have a good one.